I can't believe this is actually on my screen right now, but here is the Cybertruck inside Rocket League. I was lucky enough to get this early, so I hope you guys enjoy as we look through all of the vehicle's features and see how it plays in game. So first off, here's the vehicle as it stands with the stainless steel, but there are a couple things if I filter out here. We can go to the import section. We have uh, matte black, which is like a darker version. Uh, Baja Off-Road, which is just the standard, but it says Cybertruck on the side. And then finally, uh, Cyber Camo, but my favorite it's got to be this one. What a classic moment. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> oh my All right, so of course, uh, we also have the cyber wheels, and then uh, the engine sound is something else, I will say. Where is the engine? Here it is. Default. Sounds like a UFO. So let's hop into training and take a look at the hitbox and uh, see how it plays. Uh, I'm imagining it's going to be similar to the Ford F-150. Uh, it looks very, very long, so it's probably not going to match the hitbox too well. Now, they have added some new hitboxes lately, but I doubt that they would make a hitbox this big. It would be overpowered. Let's take a look at the hitbox plugin here and uh, turn on the one that is on it. I believe I read that it was a hybrid hitbox. So as I assumed, it's not exactly to the front of the vehicle, and you can see there's a bit of a gap above the car. Um, and the front isn't perfect, but the back is really, really not there. <laughs> uh, that used to be just as bad as the front of the F1 car, but you can see that it, it doesn't really match the hitbox that well. I'm actually surprised they didn't go with maybe a plank. As you can see with the plank hitbox, it does kind of match the length a little better, but the front is still not very good. They could have shifted it maybe, but this car is so long that at the end of the day, there's nothing you can really do about it unless you make this, uh, this car a little bit too strong compared to other cars. So I can understand why they were in a bit of a pickle on that one. Oh, there's a boost as well. I missed that. I didn't even know that. Interesting. It's kind of cool, I guess. Let's go into free play real quick and test that out. Also, you can see at the uh, the bed, like the back of the bed kind of like goes into the car or truck. It's kind of funny. Um, as you can see with this one, it's totally fine. But on my alpha boost, it actually uh, kind of sprays out the back without the bed being open. Uh, because of the driving effect, but it's 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 neat. It's different But you can hear that the sound of the engine is very very loud You can definitely hear it around the field pretty easily uh, if you want to know how to unlock this by the way uh, If we go to back to main menu, so Rocket League was nice enough to give this car away for free technically uh, But you only have to do a little bit of work um, You can claim the eight online matches to uh, get the the cyber wheels I'll collect another one I guess which aren't tradable um, and then in July 26th we'll have the beast mode cyber truck boost and uh, July 31st, finally, the b the body will be available. So it's going to be there in the next week or so. And you have until the 6th of August to claim this. But now let's get into the games and see how it plays. All right, let's give this thing a try. We got Taroko on our team against Ty and Yuriko, maybe? I have no idea how to say that, but let's get into it. Good 50. Let's see how the flick is. Well, <laughs> uh, that wasn't a very good flick, but it went in. I'll take it. Let's see if I can cheat up here. I think this car is as long as the, the Ford. It feels like it. Might even be longer. I did bump him, but he might be able to stay with that. I nice save. I'm gonna go high here. He misses. There's another flick. Okay. I'm getting a pretty consistent uh, flick with this thing. It's probably because like the front, the top is like a paddle. More so than most vehicles. I'll let Turbo stay with this. Got a 50, it might be straight in their net. Oh, uh, it's not great. Try to avoid the demo. Okay, also the engine, are you hearing the engine sound on this thing? I should have scored that. It was very, very open. Okay, should be a shot. Good try, this boost was taken by Turbo, I think. Take this. There we go. I'm trying to pitch this mid, maybe. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, this car is too sharp. Maybe Tro can go for this. Nice bump. Pop it up. Off the corner here. It should pop up. Should be all right. Tro goes pretty far though. I'll turn for him. There we go. Trying to pinch. He doesn't have the Cybertruck. He needs the Cybertruck to pinch like that. 
will be tough for them. They should save it. Thought Ty was going to be there. Nice finish. There we go. Let's see if Turco wants to play. Let's see if he wants to. All right. Let's cheat up here. Should better grab this boost. This car is... Oh, I'm dead. This car is so long, I should be able to win the boost. I'm kidding. It's not, it doesn't work like that. I'll grab this boost first. See what he does with the pass here. Pops it over. I should be okay. I'm just going to grab a couple pads. I feel like this engine loud is very loud. I'm not. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like it is very loud. Pop it four. Should be them to save it. Get a boost grab as well. I wonder how this thing's going to look in Fortnite too. Good finish. Close. Thought I could maybe take it for him. Oh, the other guy didn't go. It's fine. Good save. It's on target. It's actually too fast for him too. Beautiful. And that's going to be it. He's getting on dead by daylight. <laughs> All good. I'll just continue queuing by myself. It just looks goofy. I, I, even like, it just, I don't know. It, it does look slick at the same time and very sharp. But there's something very weird about playing with it. it. It does feel the same way as like the Ford F-150 feels too though. I think it's just like the point of rotation isn't quite like where I want it to be. Like, okay, so if I go here and I go into the hitboxes as we showed before, the hitbox or the spinning of the car isn't center with where you think it would be. I mean, it is the center of the vehicle, um, but it's not center of the hitbox. So it does give it a better, a better hinge. Uh, moving upwards and downwards. It's a little weird. We got Diego now instead of Taroko though. We got the same opponents. Let's see how it feels. Okay, I should be able to go back here. He hits this across. A little scary. Whoa. Jump for him in a second. There we go. The teammate wants to go. It's going to be bad. Yep. So that's... That is uh, exactly why you don't double challenge in the corner. I'm already following it, so I should be the one following in the corner. But uh, he wants to follow it instead, and I'm already committed. So I probably should have just immediately left, knowing my teammate's going to make a bad rotation. But you can't always play around that. You got to play like the way you're supposed to. I don't know. It's it's That's why like ranked is kind of silly sometimes. But it doesn't matter. See if you can get in the way of this, maybe. Okay, it should be okay. Not too worried about this. I should have grabbed this corner while that ball's moving forward. Should be Diego to go here. It's good. Can't really do much with that bounce, but works out. Should be Diego to turn here. Great shot and great finish. There we go. That's a good rotation for my teammate. I like that. He sees that I'm going to make, make some sort of interruption on the wall here. Ends up popping right around for him. And he got their, their corner boost steal. Uh, it's interesting. It's uh, it's. I wouldn't say it's like going to be a meta car. I mean, it could become one, I guess. But I think they need a hitbox change. Oh, boy. This is a nice one. That one's a little upset. There we go. He needs a little bit of a hitbox change. Holy. Let's see what Yuriko does here. Doesn't do the best catch on the wall. Should have dust him here. A little scary of my teammate to go, but should be all right. Take the boost if I can. I did not grab the boost. Hit this off the wall, actually. Should move it forward for Diego. It does get demoed, though. I read this. Close both of them. No, my boost. I don't need boost, man. Grab pads. Go ahead and demo me. You can get back here. Try to snipe it. I'm going to try and bump him here. I did bump him. <laughs> I bumped that guy. I'll say a nice one. 
I got him on the back of the, the car there. And then I bumped this guy too. Pretty disruptive play. This car is like a brick, I guess. So it's only appropriate that I get two like heavy duty bumps. I fake this so he just jumps. It's all good. Should be a 50. He might be able to follow this though. I think I was gonna be a little careful. Trying to avoid bumps here too. Nice. Good job. Nice job again. Yeah, after that first rotation, I mean, Diego knew he did, made a bad rotation too. Like, after that, we haven't had any problems with our rotations. So it's been pretty clean. Try and pop this to the corner and then take it up the wall here. Try and stay with this if I can. I should lead back to Diego. I, I, I respect this. Nice demo. Try to get a demo here, but it didn't work out. Holy. You can probably follow this after this touch. Nice touch. Might just be in. Great pass. I mean, it's just solid gameplay. Really good 50 off the side. I'm ready for it. I just had to shoot around him. I probably could have shot that even stronger, to be honest, but works out. So far, I don't feel like the car feels that bad, but there are some inconsistencies I can feel with it with my touches. Like, for example, like the way that I'm hitting the ball doesn't exactly go the way that I want, want it to. But decently controlled. Oh my god, Diego, what a save. What was that? Be a 50. I mean, it's just like a heavy duty truck, man. Like, do you see that? One more. Pop it around him. Off the corner. Maybe Diego. Come here. Nice. Good finish. I should have probably scored that. It was kind of hard to get around him, though. I think if I shot it on target, it actually would have been saved. But not a bad two games so far. Look, it just looks so goofy. Look how long it is. We got them again, actually, but this time with Windle. Let's see if we can win with three different teammates. I'm going to back out here. Looks like Windle's pretty low. There we go. Should be okay. A little scary. A little scary. We're good, though. Follow it up, Windle. Nice job. All right. Maybe pass. Good try. Popped it around him, but I'm going to grab the boost and then back out. I'm going to take this boost. Unfortunately, my teammate's going to need some, but take control in this corner here. Should be over. Get patience. He's probably just going to pop it. Do nothing with the ball. It's good. Try to snipe it. I didn't quite get it, though. I need to hit that really hard into the right, but wasn't at a good angle to get that swipe that you need. Maybe you can get in the way. Should be good. Try to get the demo, maybe. Hey, Wendell took the boost, but he can make, make a play here. Holy! To your right. I bump him here. Should be a shot. Nice finish. Beautiful. So far, so good. I feel like I've actually been more disruptive and more bumpy on this car than usual. Maybe that's just like the nature of this vehicle. Let's see if I can get close here. Don't really want to go on this yet. A fake. Should be awkward for Ty in the corner. Should be Wendell to follow up. We have good pressure here. Good. It's gonna be around me though. I'm gonna grab this. Oh yeah, he has it. Do we follow up though? I'll grab a pad or two. I have to just immediately go here. And he's gonna have to jump, but he's probably gonna panic. But I had zero. I can't really follow that. I'll go for the immediate challenge. A little scary, but should be all right. Stay with this in the corner. To my teammate. Nice finish. Give me a save from both of them. 
It's around, but that gives Windle a free clear. Let's go right back to Yuriko, though. Hopefully, my teammate can follow this. Wasn't my best follow on my second touch. Oh, he's going to shoot. Whoa. Should be good. Just going to boom it forward. Yuriko's going to waste his boost. And now Window with the turn off the mid boost should have it. This car feels... Okay. I won't say it's great. I'm just like feeling feeling it out while I'm playing with it. Uh, I won't say that I'll probably... I probably won't use it much more. Unless other people start to feel like it's good. And I'll give it more of a more of a solid test. Should be alright. Should, should be window with the boost. A little scary, but I got the ball. Try to go for the crazy flick. See if I can get a bump on this guy. Close. I get another touch here and then try to follow it up mid. I don't think Windle. Yeah, Windle's ready for it. Never mind. I'll have another touch here. I'll let him touch it. Okay, I got bumped from my teammate. That's okay, though. No. Dang, man. Two, two really awkward plays there. I probably should have just not challenged. But it was just a poor 50 and then a bit of panic from both of us. But shouldn't have been a situation we needed to be in in, in that in the first place. Okay, I'm going to grab the back corner. Hoping that my teammate grabs a couple pads and, and challenges for me. Doesn't end up going for it. It's going to be a little tough for us. This guy does go, though. Hits it to Windle. All right. Oh, he didn't. He's very stoic. Nice challenge. I have to go off the roof here. Yeah, this is that's just bad. I probably could have went a little bit faster. Nice. Good play. I wanted to pop that across. I'm glad that my teammate was ready for it. Some people usually are not ready for that right away. But the car popped it up pretty nicely, and he went for a follow-up. And Ty was low boost there. Let's see if we can go for like a fake. Let Ty go for the, the follow-up on the, the air dribble fake. All right. We will definitely take a free win. <laughs> uh, that was not the car at all. That was just them messing up. That was a pretty heavy shot uh, attempt. But just like that, we're, uh, we're up a goal. I don't know. I'm not going to say it's a vehicle because I feel like this is just like standard gameplay. Uh, but it feels okay. I don't want to. I don't want to be giving out false expectations of how this car feels. Like I will say that it, there are some awkward moments with some of the air dribbles and stuff when I was just practicing in free play. I mean, the hitbox is gonna be hard to play around, but it doesn't feel like I'm really hitting it where the car is. If I turn the hitbox off, uh, the front feels good. The underside feels pretty good, but I, I don't know. It's something about like the back being not real that really bothers me. And that was the same problem that I had with the Ford. Because, like, the car does feel decent to go for flip resets and stuff. But, um, at, at the end of the day, like, if the car doesn't look like its entire hitbox, I'm not a bit, usually a big fan just because it's hard to play around, like, even backflips, for example. Like, if I, if I back into a ball, it's hard to know when it's actually going to start hitting the car. Because the ball is just, like, in, in the car. Especially, like, jumping into it, it isn't exactly accurate. So when you're sitting on a backflip or something, or like a challenge, you're not gonna be able to hit the ball properly. It's gonna be hard to uh, to get used to that. So the cars like this, I don't feel like will ever really become meta because it's not perfectly accurate to the hitbox. No, no car is perfectly accurate to be fair, but at the end of the day, I feel like um, you want cars that are as close as possible to the, the hitbox to be considered competitive. We got Monkey and Cam. Versus Windle and I again, so got the same teammate. There we go. I'm gonna try and cut for him here, just make sure Cam. Yeah, okay, it's fine, he went, so I'm just gonna back off. Go for a hard 50 here. This car is super thick. 
Can't even get behind him. Good challenge. I still don't know, don't know what I'm doing with that. <laughs> Let me back off and help him out. Not a good try. That was my bad. That was a bad flip reset. My car, my camera also like kind of freaked out when I went under the ball like that. It was hard to control, but big mistake by me. Bang! Almost. Good try. I can't have a free control here. Got to the corner. I do pinch it four, but I don't think it's in, and Cam's gonna be back for that. Should be a shot opportunity though. Be a shot. Not the greatest shot choice, but it does work out. Should be good. Cam's gonna be awkward on this ball. I don't think he's gonna go. <laughs> he just sat on it. <laughs> Oh, man, this vehicle is so stupid, but I like it. I need boost, he says. Nice. This could be good for us. Maybe we can shoot. I don't think I can finish this. Yeah, it's too... It's too hard to finish. The heavy touch with this car. But we got the goal anyway. All right, I'm going to cheat up. Somehow I died. That's the thing, too. The center of the vehicle isn't exactly where you expect it to be with the wheels. No, I couldn't follow it. Nice dunk, though. So, I don't know if you guys have, know how, like, demos work, but you have to be behind the center. I'm I'm, I'm naked. Oh, boy. I played way too much into, into the faith of that challenge. I feel like that probably should have been an attack that he could handle, but he just didn't get the touch. I'm gonna let Wendell get the boost here. I'm gonna get the back corner. The important thing when you play solo queue is just make sure your teammate has boost. All right, should be okay. I don't think Cam's gonna go here. Is he gonna go? I thought my teammate was gonna cover that. It was a little scary. It's all good though. Like I said, it's always tough in solo queue. You never know like what people's intentions are. What the? Should be over one. Good flip from Cam. He's trying to bump him, but I don't think he's gonna get it. He missed. Don't really want to go on this. Hope the window can take this all the way out. I'm not a big fan of that, but we should be okay on the challenge. It's off. This does make it way more awkward for us, but we're good. I had to use less rest on my boost, so. So hopefully Wendell can stay with this. Okay, King gives it back to me. I gotta get a good flick here. Good challenge. Okay, Monkey throws it away a little bit. Nice challenge from Wendell. It's across. Nice challenge from Wendell again. Got some decent challenges in. Gonna pop it over. Should be okay though. Would have loved the full field clear. That's why I went for that demo there. If you got the full field clear and I got the demo, it would have been an easy redirect for me. Nice demo. And the finish. Great choice on the demo there though. Some really good challenges from Window this game. Definitely better than the first game, too. I just had to be there. I think the other guy could have rotated back pretty fast there, but he wasn't ready for the demo to come in. I don't think Cam expected that either. It's a cross. I'll let him get the boost. I don't think I can support him on this one. Nice challenge. I gotta wait for this. I gotta wait for the bump, too. Monkey backs off. I don't get the double. Hope this boost spawns. I don't think it's going to. The oh, it did. Around him. 
and the big flick <laughs> to finish it off. Well, this vehicle's actually not bad. Like I said, I wouldn't say it's good. It feels a little inconsistent. I hope you guys enjoyed me testing it out. Um, look forward to get it, unlocking it in like, I think two to three weeks. It looks like for now, the one challenge is available as I showed, uh, but you'll get the wheels at least <laughs> for the next week. Uh, but until next time, have a great day guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.